Welcome back, boys and girls. This is a continuing series on topic F, 6.6.1. Uh, this topic examines tra sole traders' accounts. All right. Now, I split the screen into two. So the question remains on the right because there's a lot of information, a lot of numbers. And I will work using the half, the, the left screen. Okay. So let's read the question together so that we know, uh, we understand what they want. Miriam is a business consultant. She provided the following information at the end of her first year on 30th September 2064. So we're given uh, numbers for office expenses, wages, insurance, property tracks, motor vehicle expenses, fees received from clients, commission received. Also, we're given five additional information, pieces of information. Let's see. Number one, office expenses include stationery. On 30th September 2064, inventory of stationery was valued at 250. Uh, what they are telling you is that from the office expenses, there is unused stationery. So you have to take that out. Uh, and it goes, that 250 will be capitalized um, as your current asset. It is estimated half of the motor vehicle expenses relate to Miriam's personal use. So this figure here, 1840, you have to take, you have to divide by two. Uh, only half of it will be taken out. The other half is actually drawings. Um, next one on 30th September, property tax due amounted to 160. So this one, you have to accrue 160. Uh, office expenses due amounted to 45. So from the office expenses, while you less out the stationery. You have to accrue another 45 okay commission receivable amounted to 250 dollars so you need to accrue commission received of 250 okay insurance covers a period of 15 months to 31st december okay your year end is 30th september so october november december you have three months out of 15 months times the insurance which is 1800 that would have to be prepaid. That would have to be last out. So that would be $360, which is prepaid, and you have to last out from the insurance. Okay? Anything else? Uh, bank charges, 115 have not been entered. So this bank charges of 115 will have to be shown in your income statement as an expense. Okay? Now, people, usually at this point in time, I will ask you if we have done a few examples together. You have to pause this video. Take out pen and paper and begin to do the question yourself. Give it a good attempt. Having done that, you will resume the video and to look at my full solution. Okay? If you have any questions or anything and you're not sure, you can always email me. Remember, my email is kamlin at themedcenter.com. Okay? If you've done that, ready? Here goes. Let's take a look at my solution. Okay, uh, so my solution, please write your heading, Miriam, income statement for the year ended, 30th September 2004. Now, uh, okay, the office expenses, okay, looking at the right-hand side uh, of the figure, usually as you, we go through the uh, numbers, the, the expenses and income are given, okay, I will tell you this, you should have a frame so the top part will be the income right and the bottom part here will be expenses that will guide you so office expenses will come here and the office expenses will be seven thousand two hundred fifty wages twenty seven thousand five hundred insurance okay insurance is one thousand eight hundred here but remember there was a note there that uh three months is prepaid so we need to less out 360 to get 1440 okay, property tax uh, 800 here motor vehicle expenses 1840 here I know the adjustments hence this part uh, in brackets are my working so that you can uh, write neatly the, the figure in the first column here uh, fees fees received from clients okay 40,900 commission received Okay, there's some adjustments. Okay, let's put that down. Let's take that. So we know the first column of numbers are taken care of. Now let's look at the bottom. 
the expenses include stationery. I remember just now we were talking about this two hundred fifty. So the I have to less out two hundred fifty. Estimated half of the motor vehicle expenses relate to Miriam's personal use. So you divide by two, you only take nine hundred twenty dollars. Uh, to expenses in the income statement, right? Property tax is uh, property tax due amounted to hundred sixty. So I'm afraid to one thousand to the eight hundred dollars you have to accrue hundred sixty. So the amount uh, of property tax expenses that you're charging out is nine hundred sixty dollars. Uh, commission receivable amounted to two hundred fifty. Yes, I'm afraid we have to accrue. Take up the $250, uh, $250, add on to $5,600. So, commission received is $5,850. Okay, the insurance cover, we have talked about this. Uh, you have adjusted it here so that you already shown the correct insurance figure of $1,440. Bank charges, $115. Not entered, please take that up and you title it, Bank charges, $115. Okay, um, the wages, okay, we've taken that up. So office expenses, and there you go, all right? So now people, I, uh, I've i talked about this before. The, the reason why they have two columns here is to look nice. The presentation looks good. If you just have one column with one dollar, with the dollar sign, then all your figures will be one long ugly column. So that's why we have the expenses in the inner column. We bring out the subtotal, all right? So total income forty six thousand seven hundred fifty less thirty seven thousand nine hundred eighty. So your profit for the year is eight thousand seven hundred and ten dollars. And that people is your income statement of Miriam for the year ended thirtieth September two thousand and four. You can pause this uh, video anytime to look at the solution again. All right.